All right, so now we'll get into uh, Genasi. Uh, that's in, there's a lot of different ways that people pronounce this. I'm going to pronounce this Genasi. Um, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, then I'm sure the community will yell at me about it or make fun of me. Um, they can. It's okay. Genasi. Uh, so these are baby jinns. Uh, if you understand what a jinn is in, uh, or a jinn, it's D-J-I-N-N. -N. If you understand what those are in high fantasy, these are like baby versions of those. Um, and that's a very oversimplification, but they're like baby versions of those. Um, they're descended from those. Uh, so what you have to do is, for costume-wise, is that you have wispy... A fabric of a given element and this is uh, just like channeler this is an elemental race so they are based around one of the four elements uh so you're playing a lightning genasi or an ice genasi or a fire genasi or an earth genasi um i've met a couple of these guys in game i there's not a whole lot of genasi and uh yeah while the true oranges remain unknown all genasi claim heritage from elemental beings a great power each genasi is tied to a form of element at birth um, the horns is interesting. I don't know why they have horns. Um, I'm very, I haven't personally ran into a lot of the lore of this race and maybe that's, maybe that's for a good reason. Maybe that, maybe you get to discover that type of stuff. That's a big part of Shifted Lands is like, why does this not have a bunch of lore? Well, go, go figure it out. That's really cool. And that's, that's a really good reason to play a race. Honestly, it's like, why doesn't this thing have a whole lot of lore? Well, maybe people haven't made lore, and maybe you get to go find out what the lore is, and you get to be, like, the first person to figure that out. Like, you know, that's really cool. Um, and some races have stuff like that, and some races are really fleshed out. Genasi, I don't really think, is a super fleshed out race. Um, but they're super cool, and the couple of guys that I've seen that have played this are really ni nice people. Um, in terms of actual skills, they have athletics. They're a lot of, they're a fighting, they're fighting. They are a fighting type of race. Uh, I think that they... Yeah, they're on the melee side of things. They're on the fighting side of things, as opposed to spellcasting. In terms of skills, um, obviously you can definitely spellcast as one. And, you know, spellcasting, even without reduced spellcasting, is still really good. Casting spells is a good, is a good way to play the game. Uh, but athletics, claws, we've gone over these. Enhanced Strength 2, we've gone over that. Reduced Knavery, we went over that. Levitation. Levitation is super cool when it comes up. Uh, so you're immune to Pin. Uh, pin is a spell that makes you plant your feet, but you are technically floating in a like a little cloud of whatever element you are because you're a half Jin thing. You're a Genasi. Um, and you float just barely. You now you don't fly. <laughs> it's very important. You do not fly as a genasi, <laughs> but you float barely above the ground, which means that you don't trigger. It it doesn't actually mean that you don't flicker, trigger flap. Blah, 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 that you don't trigger traps, but oftentimes is that's really what it means is that you don't you don't trigger traps. Um, that so like if you get if you trigger a trap. And you go like, I have levitation though, and they go like, Yeah, well, you still trigger it. Don't blame me. But um, there's a lot of times where like you're you have levitation and you don't trigger traps. There's a lot of times that that comes up. Um, traps are very are pretty rare though. Um, yeah, you can still plant your feet. You can still be like it's at will. So um, you can be floating kind of whenever. Uh, levitation makes you immune to falling damage. When it comes up, it comes up really quickly. <laughs> uh, so being immune to falling damage is pretty cool. Swing four elements. So, uh, with your claws, with a body weaponry, and body weaponry means claws. That's just, it's shorthand for when you're using claws, you swing for an element. Uh, suppressible means that you can do it at will. So, if, if you're attacking an earth elemental and they, with earth, uh, and they're, you can be like, well, now I'm just swinging for normal because this earth isn't affecting an earth elemental. You know, that'll come up. Uh, and the element type is the one that you pick at character creation. It's like the, I'm an ice genasi, so now I, I get to swing for ice, right? That's pretty stock standard there. Uh, you get to breathe the element, which is super cool. If you're on the ice plane and you're an ice genasi, being able to breathe ice is really important. Uh, 
see how there's not water, generic water. You don't get to breathe through water, but you, uh, you know, lightning. Um, there is things like the lightning, the plane, the earth plane, the ice plane, and there are times when the ice plane and the regular world will like overlap and ice will be important or your given element will be important. Um, that's a very common theme with some of the plots. And when that comes up, breathe element is pretty cool. Um, especially when you're in a, there's t been times where it's like, if you don't have breathe element or a way to breathe this certain element, you just are messed up. You really are like taking a lot of, uh, you're having a bad time. And so ha being able to breathe certain elements at any given time is really good. Endure, if you're in a ice storm where ice is constantly pelting you, typically people plot will be like you're taking one damage a step or something and endure prevents stuff like that um element is determined by plot or appropriate to creature type uh it's basically which one that you pick at uh at creation uh their elders retractable well that's interesting body weapon swing per plus three. Oh yeah you get to throw elemental stuff as an elder genasi which is super cool there's not a whole lot of ways to do this um other than like being an actual elemental <laughs> so being able to throw elements is super cool uh, and you're doing it at a tent oh you're doing it at a radius that's really good that's super good that's not like i hit you with a packet that's like i hit every, i hit somebody with a packet and every 10 and 10 feet around everybody got hit with that that's really good um, I don't know why it's max quantity one. Maybe I don't understand. I have not played a Genasi, so I don't not quite understand how Genasi stuff works. Um, spell strike without a book. Your elemental stuff. That's just how channelers are spell striking. Being able to spell strike elemental stuff is pretty good. If you're a fire Genasi and you're getting to spell strike fireball, that's really good. Um, especially without a book. Without a book is pretty cool. Uh, healed by... Yeah, so Elder Genasi, that's kind of what they're into. They're doing elemental stuff. Um, this is the most elementally elemental race. So where like Chandler had like a, a birthmark of an element, these guys really kind of embody elements. So if you're interested in like being an elementalist or throwing fireballs or being a fighter that has stuff to do with fireballs or being in, like around a element, this is definitely a good race to pick. Um, these guys are pretty cool. And having reduced knavery on top of... Reduced knavery and levitation and swing for element is pretty cool. That's like a whole character concept in, in and of itself. That's a whole fighter. Super cool. That was Genasi.